So this paper attempts at looking at the impact of geopolitical routes from England to India and how that affected the political institutions in the Middle East. So I take a historical perspective on this, looking as far back as 1798 when Napoleon invaded Egypt, to see how the British and the French sort of interfered in the region between Gibraltar and India to ensure that the trade routes for British ships are actually safe to travel. And in or throughout this journey, they had to interfere in the political systems in countries like Egypt, for instance, in uh, Oman, in Yemen, in Bahrain, in Dubai, to in fact shape the political institutions and ensure the safety of these routes, um, as well as the buffer to British India. And in fact, um, I compare um, countries uh, that are very close to the roots versus all the countries in the world except Europe, for example, and North and South America. And I show how the countries that are on the route are more authoritarian than the countries that are not on the route. And this is sort of an interesting um, investigation or empirical investigation that ought to take place to understand why there's a persistence of authoritarianism in these routes. So I go back to history to actually explain that and show that this interference in the political institutions, which means, by the way, to give you some you know, details, that the British would intervene either to depose a king or to um, remove the, 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 con the consultative council that's actually in Egypt, for example, as far back as 1866, or prevent the creation of a council, a consultative council in Dubai in 1930s, um, have actually been detrimental to the evolution of political representative institutions. And this interference, because the British had to secure the trade routes, in fact, it made uh, or is path dependent, which made these countries venture into democratic institutions much harder later on when they gained independence.